So we're going to he head it over to D Dwango AC and his crew with TaskBot. Welcome, welcome, everyone. This is the Task Block with TaskBot for AGDQ 2019. Here with me, I have Noah Kick and Hello. an enormous number of people. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> there, there is so much going on tonight. So the first one we're going to do is Mario with a portal gun. Are you ready? All right. So I don't even know if it's, if it's worth trying to do a timer. We're just going to go in three, two, one. OK. So this is Mario, except we replaced this sprite with TaskBot. And we've given him a portal gun. Do you want to try to explain what the heck is going on? Uh, yes, so, so he created a portal loop there quite simply, and it let him build up massive amounts of falling speed so we can fling across the stage and then use that falling speed to then fling horizontally. He's doing it again here, not quite as fast, but he's jumping through the stage. Uh, he's now actually going to clip through the portal block so he can enter the minus world. Now, this particular version does have a little bit of a glitch. It's actually a feature. You can suspend the game, and then once you resume it, you're on the final level. So, from so, there... <laughs> this is a game you can play, by the way. Yes. You will not be playing it like this. <laughs> we can't quite build up much speed here, so we're just going to manually uh, portal to the end of the stage. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Mario. Your quest is over. We present you a new quest. Push button B to play as Steve. So we're not going to play as Steve. We're not. But I do have a question for the audience. Do you guys want to see the warpless version of this? Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. We're going to load it up. One. Yep. Yeah. So real quick while he's loading that up. We got a $25 donation from Randis. How do Koopas communicate? Using their shell phones. Looking forward to task block. Wow. Not a fan of that one. <laughs> they were not a fan of they that. They were not a fan. Uh, so why don't you explain rather, rather quickly where this game came from, where people can get it, and what it's all about. All right, there's so this, a lot going on here. This was a game created, I believe, in 2012 by a man named Maurice. Uh, it is free to download at uh, stys.eu. Uh, that's the safe, uh, family-friendly version of that link. And you can basically create your own levels, which you'll see later, some custom map packs. And it's a complete, faithful recreation of Super Mario Bros., but with a portal gun, of course. Yeah, the physics seem pretty, pretty close. Now, y there's some other oddities here. Of course, we're doing this with tool-assisted speedrun stuff. Right. Now, Obviously, I'm here, so of course there's a task involved. And it wouldn't be a GDQ if Master June didn't do something. And yes. I believe he did this and the previous run as yes, well. He, did. Um, he finished this one in classic GDQ style about mm, 12 hours ago? Yeah, I think it was. Mm, Maybe it was 18 hours ago, but now time has a way of diluting <laughs> when you're. <laughs> so here's the thing. Master June's not here. He made this and then went to sleep. So we have, like, no commentary at all to prepare for you. I'm, I'm basically watching this for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> um, obviously, there's the introduction of the portal guns. They work exactly the way you'd expect from portal. You, you have an entry point, blue and you have orange. You can preserve vertical velocity to, yeah, right there, and translate it into horizontal velocity. Um, <laughs> some of these level times are just insane. We're going to spend more time watching a post-flag pull countdown than anything. Because <laughs> unfortunately, he faithfully reproduced everything in SMB1, including that. Now, we do have a copy of Super Mario Bros. 1 here at the site. Everything's legit. <laughs> We're all OK. Um, so some other notes about this. Obviously, this was done in a re-recording framework somehow. And in this particular case, this was done entirely in Linux, 100% in Linux. What made tasking this possible was a tasking framework, a re-recording framework of sorts called LibTAS. And LibTAS exclusively works in Linux. It doesn't work in Windows. Created uh, by uh, Keely? Yeah, yeah Keely. I hope that's the right name. To, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, he came in, made this, and then made amazing tool-assisted speedruns of games like... Oh, SteamWorld Dig 2 and some other awesome stuff we might be showing you again in the future. So, yeah, 
Hey, it's the fastest way if you don't have a wall to make you go sideways. I, oh, man. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm fairly confident that this represents the future of what we'll be doing at, at future events. So I am running this on my Linux laptop. I have a System76 laptop that came with Linux right out of the box. Um, the LibTAS is running directly on this laptop. We do have visualization. You can see here on this camera right here uh, that lines up with what he's pressing. Thanks to a whole lot of people, P4 Plus 2, Illy. Uh, who else was involved in visualization? A bunch of people. I'm forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that noise is unfortunate. Um, oh, fireworks. Yeah, fireworks. Boo. He gets fireworks on a couple of them because it's actually faster than waiting. Uh, that's true. I know, it's kind of weird. I love this. I love the Koopas. <laughs> Some of the strategies are really hilarious. I thought it desynced a couple times, though. It's just the strats. Yeah, no, it's just the strats. It's just the strats. What, what also first. amazes me is Master June participated in what I'd best describe as deadline-induced speed tasking, which is to say, he said, hey, can we possibly get this in? And we said, um, maybe. Why he did like a 12-hour live stream last night, just yep. completing this. Yeah, so. so he did this whole thing in about 48 hours. <laughs> um, this is not normal. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? This was in the original game. No, no. Well, okay, yes. <laughs> you have portal guns. Uh, so there's a lot of interesting physics that happen here. So right there, you saw that he wrapped around. Um, <laughs> so normally, you would not in this game be able to do that. But because he created a portal above and below and increased to his terminal velocity, which in the which game... Which is uh, 100 units per second. Yeah, 100 units per second, which uh, don't even try to... It, that You'll just break your brain. Um, I love the teleporting like it too, by the way. That is kind of cool. Uh, so basically, he's always doing various different tricks to get his horizontal velocity as fast as he possibly can. We're already at 4-1. <laughs> and yeah, there's Lakitu. That is pretty awesome. It is. By the way, shout-outs to MM102 for creating the Taskbot sprite and the little timer you see in the top right. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> as always, there's so many people. So who made LibTas? I'm sorry, I'm not LibTas. Who made Mari Zero? Because this is the game we're actually playing is Mari uh, Zero. This is by Maurice and uh, a few other people. Mostly by Maurice. Well, that happened fast. <laughs> We're almost at the halfway mark. Actually, are. we're already 4 2. Yeah. All right, well, that happened quick. <laughs> uh, this whole thing is in 12 minutes. So <laughs> the portal gun shaves off a substantial amount. But here's the funny thing I think what the real time is around 20. Yeah. Right? So the fact that it was only able to shave off eight seconds with the portal gun tells you how much time you're sitting waiting for castles to. Eight minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's actually, you're spending a substantial amount of time watching this. <laughs> It does get a little entertaining later. It does. Oh, that's, that's already entertaining. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. Do you have time for yeah. a quick donation? <laughs> now, here's something that I'm just going to throw out there. I remember distinctly renting a Nintendo at a, an actual video game store. I'm sorry, an actual video game uh, rental store. Well, home movie rental store, VHS store, that also rented entire video game consoles. Um, and, <laughs> and there's all kinds of stuff that should not be here. How'd the Koopa get there? I don't, oh, there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> they appear to have gone through the portal. They're multiplying. Um, and th so my very first, honest to goodness, gaming experience on a Nintendo was, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 My first gaming experience on a Nintendo was Super Mario Brothers 1 on the original Nintendo we'd rented. Um, and I remember my dad, who happened to, happens to be in the audience right now. I remember my dad being like, are you going to ever stop playing? Because your thumb looks red. Because <laughs> um, I played this game so much. So this game is Nintendo hard. It is not an easy game. And watching this get destroyed this way is, is crazy. Um, I, I actually have my own children right here on the couch. This is Defendasam and Rintendo. Uh, is this game easy? No? Okay, they say no. <laughs> <laughs> I've turned away and it's done. I, yeah, I know. I, I looked... Okay. Three seconds. <sighs> Man, you blink and it's over. Well, we're already in World 6, so... Wow. <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> Bye, like it too. Where'd that shine, spiny come from? I actually don't know. I don't. <laughs> There's so much, and he's back. 
There's so much going on. I don't actually understand. I'm not quite sure either. No. I know. So you can download this for free. Um, there are some... Uh, some caveats with that. Obviously, you do need to legally own Super Mario Brothers 1 if you want to play this map pack. Uh, Nintendo will tell you all about that. Uh, you, yeah. yeah. Um, but otherwise, it's completely free and cross-platform. I believe yeah. it works on everything. Windows, Mac, Linux. Yeah. Now, obviously, we're playing on the Linux version in part because there are tasking tools in Windows, but they're pretty terrible, and you don't want to use them. It's called Hourglass. Don't do it. We've done it here before and then vowed never to do it again. <laughs> um, Libtask is, is pretty incredible for this kind of stuff. You're going to see some levels that are coming up that are using some physics that are not normal. Uh, normal. Well, they're, they're, they're elements from Portal, right? Right, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I like the floating portal. Yeah, I mean, I don't, <laughs> I didn't even I don't know think you can use it. I didn't it. even know that was a thing. I didn't either. I, I don't know if it's supposed to be a thing, but it's a thing now. <laughs> What? Oh. Where? Okay. Okay. All right. Well, sure. <laughs> oh, hello, bullet bills. <laughs> uh, what other developers other than Maurice were involved in this? I think it was mainly just Maurice. Some other people did art. Oh, the reason this is cross-platform is because of a, a framework called Love, L-O-V-E, and it was really, really helpful. Um, we were able to get the entire Love framework working in LibTest, so other games based on Love, in theory, could also work in this, in this uh, framework, so you can make your own tasks of other games like it. Love is just a 2D framework for making video games like this. That was actually one of the more uh, pedestrian... I think that was the slowest one yet. Yeah. Yeah. It was actually quasi-normal. Outrageous. 24, yeah, well... So we're at 9 minutes and 48 seconds already. Oh, more of this. I hate those fish. <laughs> well, you got some speed there. <laughs> oh, did, did we just launch a yes. fish through a portal? Yes. <laughs> I have wanted to do that every single time I have played this game. The only travesty is they didn't die. Those cheeps are annoying. Okay. <laughs> that was pretty normal. This time it was a blue portal. It was. When I played this game originally, I could not understand why the princess kept debating us every single time. Now, that, that word, by the way, didn't exist in the 80s. Just pointing that out, but... Like, really, what, how many different castles are you going to be in? Turns out eight. Oh, uh, this is I hope you guys like Koopas. Oh, yep, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> Stacked Koopas. <laughs> we're almost done. 82. 8 yeah. So the, uh, now we're at the point where I've actually played these more. Okay. If I like it too. Oh, all right. Oh, wow. uh, okay. He made it. <laughs> I, I assume you. It is in fact possible to die after the. Uh, oh. No, actually. Not. It isn't. Oh, okay. No. Well, that's, what's the fun in that? I know. I know. It's disappointing. Oh well. Feature request. <laughs> so I've actually played these levels more often from having warped a ton. Uh, okay, that's just not fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 11, 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Yep. I hope you guys like this the first time. Yeah, you're seeing basically the same thing. I believe you just resynced it. It's still pretty epic, though. Actually, I think he did it all again. Maybe he did just... No, he definitely, definitely did that. And everyone's favorite water level. Yep, there we go. <laughs> that is a phrase you should never say to GDQ, by the way. There we go. Well, in the fact, there it is. 12 minutes and zero <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Huge credit to Master June for doing this. All right, we're going to switch games. Yes, we are. Kind of. Kind of. We're switching map packs. So All right, while they're switching that, I'm going to read a quick donation. I've got $100 from Random Numbers. It says, um, uh, what? Zero. <laughs> donation to TaskBot's choice. And as a reminder, unless I get corrected, TaskBot's donation choice is usually kill the animals. 
Has that changed? It is, in fact, it, it is not my choice. It is Taskbot's choice to kill the animals. Okay, so we are about to start a portal. Do you have anything else to say? No, that's it. Okay, Go for all it. right. So uh, we're going to start the next map pack. Uh, yep. map, pack map. This is uh, Gravitas by a forum user named Willware. Uh, of course, you can make your own levels if you want. So in this one, uh, Mario was unable to jump. Uh, there are invisible blocks placed everywhere throughout the levels that prevent you from getting anywhere upwards. Okay, Noah Kick made the task of this. Yes, I did. Uh, which was kind of crazy watching it happen. I'm going to let this play. Just remember he can't jump, and things are going to get a little weird. Here goes. So fun fact, if you have a high enough speed, you can just go through doors. We just went through two doors already. And these little pillars let you jump. So tell me more about this map pack. Uh, is there a full editor in... Mari, Mari Zero? Yes, yeah, so you can, uh, a full level editor, you can use your own custom assets and whatnot. So this was created entirely in the game. There's no mods used or anything. It's just the levels. Um. Whoa. <laughs> so what's interesting is it's a combination of Super Mario Brothers characters combined with the doors and all of the aperture elimination. What are they called? Uh, aperture, aperture grills? Aperture grills? Yeah, aperture grills from... Something. Yeah, and portal blocks. Cube Companion. Oh my goodness. Someone from tech just helpfully shouted Zelda. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> I, I guess putting Zelda characters in here could be a lot of fun. Whoa, that was cool. Yeah, we went through laser just there. So assuming you can jump in the last room? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> but otherwise you can't jump. Yeah. Although there are, are some exceptions, which we'll see later. Rip headphone users. Yeah. So those are launch pads. Yeah. They can't do anything. I apologize. Right, I have one. So how many levels are in this particular map pack? Uh, there are seven, not counting the small final level. What I love about this is my so, daughter just stole my water bug. Anyway. <laughs> Here we, uh, we put a cube right through the grill by dropping it on the last frame you have it. Uh, the grills are supposed to delete your cubes, but we don't like that happening. Wait, did you just put bullet bills through portal blocks? Yes. Uh, okay. Credit to DJ Pilet for making the awesome SMB3 inspired, I'm sorry, SMB1 inspired There uh, are music. no invisible blocks right here, so you can just jump right through that grill. <laughs> I imagine this is one of those things where you've probably, most people have not seen this level, so you don't exactly understand some of the puzzles going on. If you ever go back and play this and then see what happens here, it's pretty insane. Yeah. You can check out the website, check out the forums. You can find a download there. Oh, God. It's doing it again. You almost got it. Oh! Big boy. <laughs> Woo. I don't think we've seen that yet. So, according to the lore, we were trapped in an underground facility, and we have now escaped. Free to jump once again. Free Asking. to jump once again. I like those sprites. Yeah. Those are made by 102. Okay, so that is Gravitas. Another quick transition. I have a $30 donation from Chris160 who says, yep. must donate so when the robots take mm -hmm. over the world, they will know I supported TestBot. <laughs> All right, and we're going to get this on screen. Here we go. So, this so is... we're raising coolness by 20% every <laughs> single time we start this, which is awesome. You ready? Uh, yeah. So this is the portal map pack, which is included in the game. That is us rebinding controls <coughs> because we now have four players. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, it takes a lot longer. Aw, they helped each other out. Yay. How was it making a four-player task? Hard. Hard? Hard. Hard? Okay. <laughs> the fact that you did this is kind of insane. I know. <laughs> oh, you killed one! Well, some sacrifices need to be made. Oh my goodness, you killed Passbot! <laughs> we actually dropped the cube there to jump off it. Okay. It's surprisingly hard. It is? Yeah. So we lost one. So number two has only two lives left. I'm sorry. Yeah, well. A few more are gonna die. So we have all the physics from Portal in there. Oh. That guy just holds the button. Eh, it works. 
He wants to finish too. Presumably this is supposed to be four player co-op with four humans, right? Uh, yeah. Can you do four player co-op with Super Mario Brothers 1? Uh, yes, you can. Oh, awesome. I've never tried that. What? Should. Okay. There's actually an online multiplayer mod where you can play with, I think, like, infinite people. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're dancing. They are. Now they're going home. Uh, I don't <laughs> want to know what they do. <laughs> oh, so orange gel speeds you up. It doesn't go as fast as our liking, though. No. We, we tend to go faster than pretty yeah. much anything. So we are closing out on the end of this map pack and the entire Libtas, Love, Mari Zero, all this crazy stuff. Is there anything you'd like to talk about before we leave? Uh, I don't think so. I think we've covered everything. Oh, we have an auto-scroller. Uh, do you want to read a donation? Sure. I have $100 from Sequential Numbers who says, Can Taskbot be my dad? Uh, here we're actually going to pause the game to skip bad uh, rounding errors, and we jump off the cube twice. To, so we have to, so we can skip using the platform. Yeah, turn off your Discord. <laughs> I'm sorry, we oh just my. killed like three robots. It's okay, they're back. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. <laughs> so this one we do actually use all three robots to complete the puzzle. I know, surprising. So coming up here is the last level. Feels like we just started. I know, that went by fast. It did. I, I've, I really enjoyed watching this develop. The fact that we were able to get LibTas working this quickly was really impressive. We just started on this three months ago. And that's it. That's it? That's the whole that's thing? That's it. Okay. Well, I'd like to again thank Noah Kick. Thank you very much for being here and for his dad burying him and all kinds of other crazy stuff. We're gonna do a quick couch swap and switch over to Castlevania. Stay tuned. All right, we've got quite a few donations here from people excited about TaskBot. Just remember, we've got more coming up. We've got Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow, and Super Scribble Nuts coming up. You're going to be excited for that Super Scribble Nuts run. Trust me on that one, so make sure you stick around for that. But so we're, we're going to go back into some donations while we're waiting. Tina Hacks donated $250. says, hey, TaskBot team, Tina here. The work you all put in every GDQ never ceases to amaze me. It's a joy and a privilege to get to watch your work. Donation goes to Dwango's Choice. Now, I'm not sure if Dwango gets a choice or if that's just going to go to kill the animals because we have a similar donation. Let me find it here among all of the donations we're getting. Thank you, everyone who's being so generous right now. Our donation volunteers look a little bit stressed out right now. <laughs> But we have a $500 donation from Matthias. Thank you so much. And they say, super excited to see what Taskbot and his human pet, Dwango AC, have in store for us. Thank you very much, Matthias. I have a donation from Tex for $20 who says, the best, night, the best comment of the night comes from my daughter, Espeon6. Taskbot should be Taskbot, because he has one task. Go fast. That was a young kid pun. Come on, be kind. I have a $250 donation from Funny Name Here, and it says, Witty Comment. Thank you very much for your witty comment. So
So just as a reminder, we're trying to build towards Bloodborne, among other things. We do have some Final Fantasy IX incentives that need some love, but in the time since I've sat down, we've raised $5,000 towards that Bloodborne run, which is pretty great. So those of you who want to see that, you should definitely keep donating. But we have some Final Fantasy incentives that still haven't been met. Uh, the Vivi and Kina marriage needs about 30000 And the blindfolded menuing segment, which is super impressive, and if you're going to be staying up for that, you want to see it, also needs just a little bit under 30000 to go. So I know you guys can meet both of those. Final Fantasy IX is coming up pretty much right after Scribble Knots. It's going to be a long run, so you're going to have plenty of time to meet both of those, but you definitely want to donate towards them. All right, guys. I have $13.37 from Programmer Humor. Stick with me on this one. It says, a little poem for Taskbot. Roses are red. This program might halt. I forgot an null terminator. Segmentation fault. <laughs> and then they added on the end, core dumped in parentheses. So thank you very much. We're getting a bunch of anonymous donations that are all super generous. Uh, I see multiple $500 donations. Um, a lot of these anonymous donations just don't have comments, so I just wanted to give a general shout out and thanks to everyone who's donating. Every little bit helps. It doesn't matter if you have a lot or a little to give. The minimum, do minimum donation is $5, but we get so many donations every event. Our average donation total is, our average donation per person is actually quite low. So you'd be surprised how much those $5 donations help. So thanks everyone, no matter how much you're giving. We really appreciate it. And of course, it's going straight towards the Prevent Cancer Foundation. We have $33 from Fun Dad, who says, looking forward to the Castlevania run, or should I say, Tasylvania. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll, I'll give you guys a break from the puns. I'll give you a serious one. We have a $500 donation from Roleplay. Thank you very much. And they say, Aria of Sorrow is one of my favorite games. Really looking forward to what TaskBot will do in the solar eclipse. Great job to the TaskBot team. <laughs> Kiros donated $10 and says, honestly, I'm not sure TaskBot should be trusted with a portal gun. But it sure ends up being fast. Thank you very much, Kiros. And yeah, that was a... Uh, Surprising showcase. <laughs> Blanco just gave me a look. I have an anonymous $50 donation that says, first time watching...